Hello, sports fans and football fans. It's me, Sportsman Z. Bob Zolke. And this week in the USFL, I am here with a small recap of week four and a preview of the week five picks. And in week four, I did a lot better than I did in week three. I was three and one. Three and one for the week, which puts me at eight and eight overall on the season. I'm back to 500. So let's hope that I can move forward from there. So, um, yeah. So three and one this week. Again, my Panthers were the team that let me down. But first, let's do a small recap by looking at some uh, highlight videos from the four games.
All right, so let's take a quick look at the USFL standings after four weeks. First, we're going to look at the North Division. Uh, as you can see, the Generals are leading the North Division with a 3-1 and one record on the year, 79 points for and 63 against. The Stars are a game behind them at 2-2, two and two, uh, 89 points for and 95 against. So they're uh, beating the Pythagorean um, record because the Pythagorean record would say that they should be under 500, although with four games, I suppose it's too small a sample size to see. Differentiate. The Panthers are one and three. They've scored only 67 points, but they have only allowed 53. And then you've got the Maulers at 0 and 4, 39 points for and 92 against. Very bad for the Panthers. Now, if we move on to the South, you can see that the Stallions are leading that and all of the USFL with a 4-0 record. They've scored 99 points and allowed 75. So they've allowed, uh, you know, a substantial number of points, but they've uh, scored quite a bit too. And uh, in second place, you got the Breakers at 3-1 and one with 93 points, 4 and 58 against. Then the Bandits at 2-2, two and two, 57 points, 4 and 79 against. And then the Gamblers picking up the rear at 1-3, 87 points for, and 95 points against. So those are your standings after four weeks in the USFL. All right, so there you go. And now we are going to discuss the Week 5 picks. Uh, this week, there's and now they they've jumbled up the schedule again. This week, there's a there's one Friday game. There is only one Saturday game, and there's two Sunday games. So on Friday, May thirteenth, and again, the Friday game is the Panthers again. Like every time there's been a Friday game, it's been the Panthers. I don't know what's going on with that, but anyway, it's going to be the Panthers um, versus the Bandits at eight p.m. Now, I always get the Panthers game wrong. I mean, I think I've gotten it wrong every week. Um, last week, they only lost by a point, and I had picked them to win. So this week, I am again going to pick them to win. The Bandits just don't look very good, and the Panthers, at the very least, look like they have a good defense. So I'm going to pick the Panthers to win on Friday, uh, May 13th. That game is at 8 p.m. On Saturday, May 14th, there is, again, only one game, and that's going to be at 3 p.m., and that's going to be the Breakers versus the Generals. Now, the Breakers are 3-1 and one on the year. They look pretty good, but um, they almost lost to the Bandits. The Generals, I think, have their ducks in a row. So I'm going to say go with the Generals in that game. I'm going to pick the Generals over the breakers in the 3 p.m. game. By the way, no helmets today. Just don't, I'm not feeling the helmets, so we're not gonna do that this week. Um, so if you need to go back and look, hey, do it. So then you got two games on Sunday, May 15th. The first game, which will be at noon, is the Stallions versus the Stars. And in this game, I am definitely going with the Stars. I'm going with the Stars. Because the Stallions, I mean, they may be undefeated, but they didn't look all that great last week. The Stars, again, the Stars and the Generals, I think they have their ducks in a row. So I'm going to say take the Stars in that game. And then the final game at, of the weekend at 4 p.m. will be the Maulers versus the gamblers and in this game i mean this is two bad teams going up against each other i'm going to take the gamblers i'm going to go with the gamblers i don't think the maulers the maulers may not win a game this year they look really really bad so what do you guys think of my picks give me a thumbs up if you like the video or the picks or just the video it doesn't matter and leave your comments below if you were uh, just um, 
you know, scrolling by and you happen to see this video, but you aren't subscribed to the channel, subscribe because it really helps me out. But that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.